you require a helmet with visor with ear defenders all attached. It's called a combination helmet. So they click in so you're protected your face, your ears and your head from anything from this chain coming up and hitting you to anything falling and hitting you on the head. Yeah. Going down, gloves, padded gloves with a padded section there for the right hand. If the chain comes off, it's going to protect you. The rear hand, again, there's Kevlar in it to protect you from being cut. I'll take this off, you might be able to hear me a bit better. Going down the body, uh, a, you could wear a jacket, it's not necessary to wear a jacket, but trousers are very, very important. A jacket would be more important if you was climbing. Yeah, but for cutting on the ground, the trousers are very, very important. The trousers have got Kevlar in, and they snag the saw and block the saw off and jam the mechanism up and stall the saw completely. Once that's done, you've got a lot of work to unblock it, but it will stop you from cutting your leg off, which is a little bit of a bonus, yeah? The boots, again, uh, these are triple line boots with Kevlar in, still toe capped, still plate in the sole, special boots for chainsaws, so if I do it my foot, it's gonna cut the boot and not cut my foot off. If you wore normal safety boots, it would go straight through them. It would slide off the steel toe cap and go straight through the middle of the boot. We've actually tried this in a, in a demonstration with safety boots. So there is an alternative if you're using an occasional user saw, they can use spats, which again have got Kevlar in, and go over the top of steel soaked to, uh, toe cap boots. Not plimsolls or ordinary shoes or anything like that. They must be steel toe cap under the gaiter. Into the choke position when you're cold starting. Yeah? You place the saw on the ground. Yeah? Always on the ground. Yeah? Place your left foot in. Right. 